Mikey, we've just sailed to the Arctic island. Ho <laughs> ho! Row faster with the oars, we need to moor to the shore. I've swum very close now, but I still don't understand how we can get on the ice. We need to get out carefully so that families don't get hurt. I have a strange feeling about this. Do you hear the ice crackling? <laughs> I can't believe my eyes. Mikey, look, now everything around us is frozen. Ice has formed and the boats are stuck. Let's get out to the shore faster and think about what we should do next. It seems that you are trapped because we will not be able to sail away from here. Oh. I don't understand how this happened. The ice appeared so quickly and now our boats are completely frozen. Maybe we'll try to sail away by ourselves now. Let's jump into the water. I think that we will be able to swim away from this cold together with our family. Mikey, let's try it. Now dive into the water faster. I want to watch you sail on. We'll follow right behind you. Mikey, I don't understand. What happened? Horror! I'm frozen in the icy water! I need to get warm right now! You have no idea how much it hurts! Let's run upstairs. It seems there's something burning. Maybe we can get warm now. The fire definitely won't hurt me now, because my hands and feet are very cold. Oh! Now stand by the fire and warm up! Never go into the water again, because it is very cold! How did you not realize that we are on an Arctic island? Now we need to think about what to do next. It's very dangerous to stay here. Yeah. Mikey and JJ have now decided to explore the Arctic island. It is surrounded by a frozen sea, and on the island itself lies a crashed plane that burned yeah. down. In addition, there is a snow golem on top of the very top of the mountain. There is a den of dangerous bears right under it, which are sleeping now, but can wake up at any moment. There is even an underground cave with valuable resources. There is a yurt on the very edge of the island. Mikey and JJ will need to explore this. <laughs> Mikey is now carefully examining the fallen plane. I see that there is a chest here after the crash. We need to take from it all the resources necessary for life. Mikey, just be careful. There is fire everywhere, and it will prevent us from taking materials from the chests. I'm still searching for the chests. <laughs> I'm very good at it because I know how to put out a fire in time and explore the entire crash site. Let's take a close look at everything that's going on here. Mikey, please come closer. Now there is a very important task that will need to be completed. I don't understand why my family is working alone now and you are resting. I know that there are very valuable boxes on the planes. We need to find them. Huh? All right then, let's start the search together now. You just need to be very careful. I don't want to get into the fire. It burns very much. I see that you have already found many different resources. You even have a lighter. It is very cool. Let's go upstairs. I think I noticed another chest there. The most important thing is that we got to the chest, but unfortunately, it is locked. I have a special key. It's time to get out everything that was inside. These are pumpkins. <laughs> I thought there would be some diamonds or emeralds here. It turns out we just worked like that. Okay, let's run faster and further. We still need to work very hard to save our family. There are probably a lot of dangers on this island. The plane crashed for a reason. What did you notice there? You're acting very strange. JJ, look towards the hill urgently. You won't believe me. Oh no, we're being attacked by polar bears right now. Ugh. Mikey, we're going upstairs right now so that the polar bears don't get us. You have no idea how dangerous they are. They have very big teeth and can grab anyone they want with their jaws. But don't get upset now because I have a plan. We will make snowmen with pumpkin heads. Oh. Attack. Now I want to drive these bears away as soon as possible so that they never come near us again. I was so scared, so now the snow golems have to throw snowballs at them as much as possible. I see that the bears are retreating. It's very cool. Drive them to the frozen ocean. They shouldn't stay on this island. Mikey, you have no idea how glad I am now that we have found an opportunity to drive the bears away from us as far as possible. Yep. It is very cool. They actually went to the water and immediately jumped in but they couldn't swim away. Let's go back. We'd better get warm now because it's starting to get colder outside. You're right. The main thing is to light a fire as soon as possible. You have the boards. Let's stand next to him and warm ourselves up a little. Hmm. The main thing is that our families don't freeze too. I don't want any of them to get hurt. Mikey, I didn't just find this lighter and thanks to it, a fire has appeared now. Put your hands closer, then they won't warm up much faster. Ho <laughs> ho. Super, 
We're all here now. Mikey, let's go explore the underground cave. I saw that she is inside a huge mountain, and we have to get to her as soon as possible. I am sure that there may be a lot of valuable materials that will be useful to us. Run and keep up. The main thing now is to go inside. This cave is really huge, but now how to get down? I don't know. Let's get on the ice now and think maybe we'll find an opportunity. I know we can do it. Oh no. <laughs> we have just fallen into a cave and I do not know how to get up. JJ, what are we doing next? Listen to me carefully. Now we are all starting to extract the materials that are in this cave. In any case, do not get distracted. We have very little time. We have to work hard now, so make a tool and try to take as many resources with you as possible. Now, we need to work together in this cave because we need to get out as quickly as possible. You can't stay on an Arctic island for long, otherwise we'll freeze. <laughs> the more we move, the warmer we will get. So now I have moved away separately to collect different resources. It's time to get out a workbench to make tools and weapons for yourself. Mikey will be very surprised when he finds out how much I will manage to get in this time. But I'm distracted now and I need to keep going. I will definitely need a block of iron. I put a stove and a workbench here for a reason. I will soon use the resources I've obtained on them. Oh, the pickaxe destroys blocks very well. I see that you are really working very hard right now. Let's get some rest because at this pace, we definitely won't last long. I don't understand how you do it, but in such a short period of time, you have already managed to put up a stove, a workbench, and get a lot of different resources. Just don't forget that we're going to need diamonds. The good thing is that you reminded me of Mikey. I completely forgot about them. <laughs> then I'll get some coal now and run for the diamonds right away. We will definitely need them, and there is no point in doubting it. It's time to run and look for them in this cave. I know that they are nearby, and it won't take me long to get them. The more tools and weapons you make now, the easier it will be for us to survive on the surface of the Arctic island. Ho <laughs> ho! And I don't want to stay in this cave anymore, because we can't get fire here and we'll freeze at any moment. It's time to find a way to get out of here. Do you have any ideas? Mikey, I think I've come up with it now. You just look up, there are rocks all over the place. This is our opportunity to use the tool that we made to get out. I think that you have to cope with this task, so now make a pole for yourself and climb up. We'll wait for you here. Oh! I hope that you will understand how to leave this cave. I have some very good news right now because I climbed up. I realized that we can break the stones that crumble. Now I will make all the necessary tools as soon as possible and try to get to the top. Wish me luck now, it's very dangerous. But I have to cope with this task. I have to rescue our families from the cave. Oh. Mikey is now engaged in breaking through a new passage. In the meantime, I'll gather a few more resources that we'll need. I still can't believe that we can finally get out of this terrible cave now. Mikey is doing everything possible right now so that we can climb up. I see that you are already following me and it is very good. I made a ladder around the pole. Don't be afraid, it will hold up. Go upstairs. There's not much left because now I'm going to start breaking the cobblestone that has filled us up from above. So now we must not make a mistake in any case. Otherwise, another collapse will occur. I'll try to work with a pickaxe carefully. Mikey, you're doing everything right. The main thing is not to take any risks. We need to get the family out now and then we'll be free. I still can't believe it, but we still managed to do it. You have no idea how glad I am. So, now we need to think about what to do next. Let's explore this island as best we can. Okay, then we're moving on now. I don't want to miss the opportunity to sail away from here as soon as possible. Just look at this. I can't believe my eyes. Now I see that there are spare parts from the super icebreaker boat everywhere. I wonder where they're going now. Surely they appeared here for a reason. <laughs> Mikey, now take a closer look because they're going to the top of the mountain. Most likely, the main spare parts are lying there and we need to find out what is going on on this Arctic island at all. I have a very bad feeling. It's very dangerous to go upstairs and we're taking a lot of risks. Be careful now. Oh no, I see an Arctic golem. Yep, 
It turns out that he guards all the spare parts from the icebreaker's boat. We need to try to get to them as soon as possible now. Family, run down and try to distract the golem. Just please, don't take any chances. It seems that they are doing well. They ran rather to his lair. Let's check everything that lies there. Uh-oh. Mikey, we're taking a big risk right now. If he comes back here, then we definitely won't have time to escape. Get up quickly. I don't want our family to get hurt. She definitely won't be able to distract him for a long time. We go into his lair, look at everything carefully. There are a lot of boxes here. I didn't expect to see it. It's amazing, but they contain a huge amount of resources and much more. I am extremely surprised that the golem has been kept here all this time. It turns out that one day a super icebreaker sailed here, but sank and the golem took everything for himself. I see that you have already found an armor for yourself, and you look very cool now. Hmm. Mikey, stop being distracted right now. Our family is being chased by a golem, and you're looking at the armor I found. Let's hurry up because they need our help. I'm sure they're in great danger right now, and if we don't help, they'll get seriously hurt. Now we need to make an attack with the weapon that we found here. Huh? It will be extremely difficult to do this, but I will try. Just please cover for me if anything happens. I'm going down very fast now in order to make a control strike with my sword. The golem won't hide from me now. I think I can see it. I hope that you have now seen what I have done. I managed to destroy the golem. Mikey, you're doing great. I was very worried that our families might suffer, but now everything is fine. Woohoo! Now it's time to transfer all the necessary resources to our family so that they can start building an icebreaker ship. In the meantime, we'll do other things. I don't want them to take risks, so let them start building safely. Oh! Then let's run away now and choose together the place where it will be best to put it. I have to keep an eye on our family and escort them so that no more dangers arise. There are a lot of strange things happening on this Arctic island, and we can't take that risk. Mikey, it seems that we have now decided on the place where the construction of the icebreaker ship will begin. Let's not distract our families. Let's step back and discuss our plan further. Oh, <laughs> you do realize that building a ship will take some time. Now I suggest you explore the Arctic Island even better. The amazing thing is that we have really decided now. What should I do next? Let me agree with the proposal you're talking about from afar. We are watching our family well, and they are building a ship very quickly. I'm sure there are still a lot of different mysteries lurking on this island that we have to figure out. Oh! Mikey, I understand that you're in the mood for new adventures right now, but we shouldn't take any chances either. Finally, we have managed to calmly sort it out completely now, and she threatens me nothing. I have a strange feeling about this. Just look at it, it's impossible to believe. But a little kid came running to us. He seems to be without clothes and points us to the yurt. The child is calling us for help. Huh? Then let's run there as fast as possible. I don't want anyone to get hurt and I'm sure that now we can still help them. The main thing now is to hurry up. The good thing is that we have brought weapons with us and we are not in danger. You better hurry up because everyone is in great danger right now. I don't want the child to get hurt. I can't believe my eyes. I see wolves at the yurt. Mikey, then now we run as close as possible and take up the sword. The only way we can defeat them. <gasps> Please don't take any chances. Do everything as I say. Try to lure them to you and then we will each make a hit. I'm sure the wolf can't do anything against our swords. It's hard to believe, but they are very aggressive. I've always been afraid of these animals. Of course, it's stupid to attack them, but we can't leave the villagers in the yurt either. The wolves are starting to bark and attack us now. Fight back. Don't let them bite us. They have very big teeth. They can eat us. <sighs> I still can't believe we did it. Let's go into the yurt. I'm very worried right now because anything can happen there. I hope the wolves didn't get in there, so now it's better to carefully run in and find out everything that's going on there. I hope that the villagers who are on this Arctic island survived in the yurt. Hi, we came running to help you. Could you please give me first aid? Unfortunately, I am very injured and frozen. If you make a fire for me, then I will be incredibly grateful to you. Even the dogs began to tremble and they felt sick. For the fact that you are helping me now, I will make a gift for you. Pick up the dogs faster and run wherever you want. <laughs> Thank you very much. You can't imagine how important this is. Buckets of lava will also help us a lot. Therefore, let's not waste time now and run as fast as possible to our family. 
I want to sail away from this Arctic island, and now no one will stop me. Mikey, we're riding dogs now. The icebreaker ship has been built. We can sail away. Yeah. Finally, we will go home now. We are not in danger, and even the frozen ocean will not stop us. Come on board soon. I want to see my family and find out how they are doing right now. I'm in a great mood. Mikey, they seem to be doing well now, and there are no problems. Just look, everyone is happy, and now it's time to move on. Then let's all sit down now, and it's time to take control of the controls. We are heading home now, and now no one will stop us. Oh! Then now pour out the lava near the bow of the ship so that the ice melts a little and we start moving. Everything is going great now because we are leaving the Arctic Island and will never come back here. I am the happiest person in the world right now and our family is saved after all. Mikey, then everyone hold on tight because the ship is going on a long voyage. An exciting journey across the frozen ocean awaits us and now we will definitely not freeze. We're going home now. Ho <laughs> ho! That's how our incredible adventure ended.